Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. It is August the 30th, 2024. And I uh, want to share with you real quick, Ukraine to push for strikes deep in, inside of Russia. I mentioned this just the other day, and of course, CNN reporting this as well, as Zelensky's uh, entourage is there in Washington, ready to present for the Biden administration at the Pentagon there, the use of uh, ballistic missiles inside, deep inside of Russia after what I reported to you the other day. Let's listen Priority in to uh, what they had to say there. Listen. In Russia, so far, Ukraine is only allowed to use U.S. weaponry right across the border in a fairly small area. They want to be able to use some of the U.S. long-range weapons against priority targets inside of Russia, and that's what they're here for. They'll present a list of priority targets deeper inside of Russia to the Biden administration in the hopes that U.S. will loosen or ease the restrictions on the use of U.S. weapons by Ukraine. Those two have I can only imagine that that may very well be approved uh, because something that the uh, U.S. is wanting to do is to bring about a war that could certainly change events around an election here in this country here, but, uh, I mean, who really knows? Also, U.S. made F-16 crashed in Ukraine, killing a pilot there. Uh, they're not saying in here what really caused the issue there, but uh, the fact of it is, uh, in fact, what they're showing you there are uh, U.S. made uh, chip software, about 70% are being found in hypersonic missiles of the Russian uh, fleet that is being, or the Russian army that's being used uh, in Ukraine from some of the missiles that they have recovered, some of the software there. Like I said, 70% of that being made in the USA, Russia acquiring that according to what they're saying in this article here from third different third country parties there. Uh, but anyway, going back to the F-16 that crashed there, it is alleged to believe it was actually a Patriot missile that took down the plane, mistaking it for a Russian aircraft and shot down their own plane. Friendly fire killing the pilot in Ukraine. I've kind of said that this is kind of like a sitting duck type of war to start with. Uh, and also, too, even the soldiers that are conscript, conscripted into the uh, battle there. This particular video here shows uh, a bunch of Ukrainian men who were made to believe that they were actually going to uh, a safe passage to get out of the country because of the fear of being put on the front lines actually got uh, conscripted for the front lines. I find it interesting too. I want to show something to you here. Let's go back to these soldiers here. Why is everything that they have covered up? Why is insignia on their uniforms not even showing? Their faces covered, wearing sunglasses. Gosh, Looks a lot like American soldiers, even though they do have uh, Ukrainian language on the back of that, that bulletproof vest that he's wearing there. But uh, I have a feeling that these are not Ukrainian soldiers. Hmm. But nonetheless, these guys here are going to be sent to the front lines where, uh, from what I was told in one particular meeting, and I think that was with Russell Bentley, the late Russell Bentley, God bless his heart and soul, his wife is carrying on his mission, by the way, in case you want to follow that. Uh, but anyway, these men here will be sent to the front lines. And so they have, I think, what is it, four hours uh, life expectancy on the front line? That's about what they're going to get. Uh, so they have been duped into think they were getting out. Now they're going to the front lines of Ukraine's war there. Uh, that's just lets you know. Now, I mean, most people say, oh, they're deserters. They know they're fighting a losing battle. There's no men left. Now they're even taking women to the front lines. Uh, you know, just think about it. Uh, this too, though, the horrors of war, and it def definitely doesn't justify anything. Uh, Ukraine is blaming a Russian missile for striking this building. Uh, we have not heard uh, official word as far as from Russia whether or not it was their missile that struck this building. But even if it did, this is definitely no way to fight a war targeting civilian buildings that left one child dead on a playground. Uh, very sad, very tragic, and very, uh, you know, concerning. Of course, this is definitely not Ukraine, excuse me, Israel and Gaza. We can de definitely say that. 
But if you go to some cities there in in uh, side of Ukraine uh, where Russian and Ukrainian forces are fighting, it looks worse than Gaza. So you know, not to say that this war is not brutal uh, by no means. It's definitely brutal. And I've mentioned to you before. In fact, somebody just asked me about this the other day privately, about all the. Um, money being stolen, no doubt, from uh, Ukrainian officials there as we send all these millions of dollars worth of equipment in. Now they have an article that just came out. Ukrainian officials stole 490 million meant for military. Uh, criminal proceedings are underway in relation to dozens of cases of alleged embezzlement, according to the politician Mikhail Bandar. Nearly 500 million given to Kiev for the construction of defense uh, fortifications for uh, to Russia's advance hasn't been embezzled or stolen. Media reported on Sunday, citing Mikhail Bandar, a member of the Ukrainian parliament. Uh, uh, Ukrainian law enforcement authorities have launched around 30 criminal proceedings linked to the embezzlement of 20 billion, uh, Bandar told lawmakers. Hmm, well, I bet you Zelensky doesn't get caught up into that mess. Although they did take out the entire uh, one branch of his government there that was in a helicopter, shot that helicopter down when they were going to expose uh, Zelensky if they didn't get their cut. Of course, the ones on the helicopter weren't much different than Zelensky himself. Ah, what a crazy day, I have to say. Anyway, before we close out of here, let me uh, share with you over on Patreon and listen. This video is not going to air here. I can't. I don't even know where to air this safely. Uh, the, it's called What Really Happened. Uh, in fact, I just loaded here in the last uh, 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 week or so here, we've loaded three new videos. One, The Reality of Aliens and Demons. Uh, why Take Out Seven Nations. Uh, again, that's another video exclusive here to Patreon. And now, uh, and of course, Outside the Camp. Uh, beautiful teaching there, Revelation I Caught. That will go public eventually here before much longer. But now this one here, what really happened? I was sent footage. I'm not, I can't even say it. I can't even use the words even here on YouTube there. But uh, you guys know this man right here, Mr. Bolin, who we interviewed years ago. If you just look him up, I kind of blacked out on the screen the name of part of the name of his book because we don't want the video taken down, uh, especially where it's at now, Patreon. But I got video footage sent to me from a good friend in Europe. And that video footage, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Imagine what a video footage that shows you what really happened. Imagine the tens of thousands of words that every frame holds that that shows you. Uh, and, and maybe you guys are already aware of this. I don't even know. I never saw this before. But it'll be there for at least a couple of days. And then I've got to figure out what to do. But if you want, just go to patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. It'll be in the description below. Just go to the description of this video. You can click there on the link, subscribe. Cost you only a dollar. You get to see everything we do on there, all the way back from the inception of Patreon. A lot of fascinating videos, some exclusive to Patreon, some we make public on Patreon, some we make public over on our channel called Stephen Benoon uh, YouTube, under my actual name there. You can always go there and also see uh, videos that I post there. Occasionally I do make some of those public as well. But this one here, I don't know what to do with it. But I guarantee you one thing, if you haven't already seen something like this, it's going to wake you up. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support of the broadcast here. Uh, you can always support this broadcast. By the way, we are facing uh, some very interesting challenges coming up very soon regarding my wife's father's case there. Uh, we certainly could use your help. You can donate either right here to Israeli News Live uh, on Danoon Institute by clicking that button right there at the top, 
or you can even go to Justice for Our Dad Stefan and click here. There is a link, if I'm not mistaken, there is still a link to financially support there. Uh, but if it's not there, you just make sure you make a little notation when you're doing your donation for uh, Stefan, and then we'll know what that's about. Uh, but um, Yana did a private viewing last night. Uh, it was very emotional, but she really laid out part one of this story in vivid detail. Uh, so I'm sure those that were there can tell you just how uh, riveting it was. Uh, we shared photos, we shared evidence, uh, and that's all coming very, very soon. So anyway, take the time. Watch this video on Patreon. That'll rattle you for a while. And uh, we thank you for your support and your love for this ministry. God bless you and have a great day.